Guys, they're getting lit up here. They have like their own little mini ski area or is it called ski or skate area, ice skating. It's like this whole little village up on this mountain. Yeah, it's like a whole little, a little village up here. That consists of like not that much area, but they're playing music. I'm getting litty up here. Tom tomorrow, guys. Tomorrow it is my turn for the skiing, the snowboarding, all of that. Finally, I'm doing it tomorrow. So it should be lit. Switzerland, like even look at the houses. Like when you think Switzerland, when you think like a up and down, like folk cottage in the mountains. Like, what? Where am I at, guys? Like, even on this side, you have like all these trees, more of these. Like, you don't get this in the states. Maybe like in Colorado, maybe, but is it looking like this? I don't freaking think so. What the hell? So beautiful, so beautiful. Just like, I don't know, like, just like cozy. I don't know why it's cozy. The best word I can describe, like, these people and this place is just cozy. Guys, holy shit, I'm tired as hell. I didn't even start. Just walked up. I mean, well, I've been walking since I've been here, but just walked up this, which you can't even tell how steep it is. It's much deeper than that looks. Now we're walking up this, up there or something. I feel like I'm already on the hike. God damn. Oh, and you can't see shit. I don't know. Maybe this will. Oh my God. Oh, I'm so tired and I'm wearing so much shit. I got this heavy ass backpack. Oh. Oh. Do I want to go on this hike, guys? I was told it's only 10 minutes, but I don't believe that shit. Oh. As well, I ain't making it, guys. I'm going to see the next place in the dark. Hopefully it looks good in the dark. But, it's like I go to that place, then I go to another place tonight. But those two places are only like 15 minutes apart. So in the morning, tomorrow, I could wake up, see what I want to see in the place that I'm staying at. Then take the 15 minute train to the other place, see that again in the daylight, 
then take it back down to the area to go snowboarding. And yeah, and then snowboard the rest of the day or something. I don't know, I need to do some more planning, but I don't think I'm making it back to the next area where it's like. I have to walk the trail, then back down, then take the gondola back down, then wait for the train. Like, no, we ain't making it nowhere, guys. Well, I do have to be checked into my hotel by 10, so I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. What in the bullshit? I'm not made for this. It's like, I guess I've been walking a lot, so it would be worse if I hadn't been walking everywhere. But nonetheless, I ain't been walking up hills. It's like I keep taking so many mountain pictures, but they're just so beautiful, or like videos. Bro, fuck this. Oh, okay. I take a little pit stop. Bro, I've hiked all the way from that village, and it's uphill the entire time. And I'm wearing two jackets. And I freaking have on my heavy ass backpack. Like, yes, the views are stunning. On top of that, wait till I get to the top and check the freaking altitude. I'm doing all this at however high the fuck up I am. But you know, like the higher up, the harder it is to breathe and all that. Especially when you're not used to it. I'm not a mountain person. Texas is flat lands. I'm uh, not used to breathing in this. It's like, I'm surviving, but I don't know for how long I will be surviving. I better have a fucking eight pack after this. Goddamn cardio I'm getting. I can, I'm still not even at the top, bro. Holy shit. There's actually and quite literally just like the Swiss Alps everywhere. Like on every side. It's like we're just in a valley surrounded by the freaking Appalachian mountains. Bro, mountains are freaking huge. Like, this mountain, the tip of it is literally in the clouds. Same with this one. Like, I don't know how good the camera's doing justice, but like, I'm high up already. Like, down there, like, way down there is like the valley that I was in earlier. So we came out up here, and even from here, like, these mountains are huge. And I don't even, like, they're probably not even, like, some, like, looking at this and then now, like, imagine Mount Everest, like, it's probably, like, in the fucking outer space, like, I would like to try to climb Mount Everest one day, but I don't think I'm in the shape or anything for all that, but that would be a cool adventure when I make it to Asia one day, but mountains are big, like, I don't think it does justice just thinking or, like, looking in books, like, you have to actually be next to one to just realize, like, how toweringly over you they are. Oh yeah, I don't think I showed y'all I took a picture, but down there is like the start of the hike. And now we're on it. I don't really know where I'm going or how far this hike takes you, but we're walking. Guys, I must have went on the wrong trail or something because this is not no 10 minute freaking walk or trail. I'm tired as shit. My legs, my feet are starting to kill me, but yes. This is not no damn 10 minute walk the fuck. I got fucking lied to. And yes, it deserves curse words because I'm fucking angry. AKA fucking angry. And why the hell is everything up hill? Like, oh my god. I wonder who the hell lives up there in that building or what that building is. <sighs> Thank you. 
Guys, where is the freaking trail to go back down? Like, please don't tell me I have to walk back the same way I just freaking came. I mean, what the hell? What is off the edge of this cliff? Psych, I don't want to know. My feet are thinking. This is like a cow farm, horse farm. There's shit everywhere. You now I have snow in my shoe. And I hate it. And the ground's soaking wet. And my shoes are about to be ruined. Yeah, like, I don't know. I thought this hiking path was a freaking circle, but... I guess I have to walk back the same damn way I just came. Because I don't know what y'all, but I don't see a way back. Unless it's like all the way down there, but like how do I even get down there? I don't know. Nonetheless, here's some mountain. Okay, yeah, I don't really know where the hiking path continues. Or if it even does make a circle. And I don't... So you can go farther up there, but like guys, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm literally on top of like a random mountain. Like there's nothing but like two farmer people I just saw who work in this place. Like there's nothing up here. Like I don't want to go walk around and get lost by myself. Like, if I had more time, maybe I'd go get lost by myself, but, like, I do still need to try to make it back to the next area, in the next area, in some timely manner. It's gonna take me, like, 40 minutes just to get back to the train. But, I mean, we got to see a lot of stuff. Also, just so y'all understand, this bullshit, hold up. Just so you understand what I just hiked through. Hold up. Let me walk up here real quick. Oh well, uh, the like elevation thing keeps freaking changing. Like, but look, I'll show you where it's at right now. Look at this shit. I'm at damn basically six thousand feet elevation. And just for comparison, let me shin of Texas. Just for comparison, Texas is at 1700. So I'm basically over three times that if I did, yeah. Basically over three times the normal elevation of Texas. Um, even somewhere that has mountains, like, let's see, elevation of Colorado. Colorado Springs is at 1,800. So, Colorado Springs, the ski resort, which would probably be in the mountains. Um, oh, see, this is, like, going up to the top of the mountains, which is, like, 9,000, but, like... Just want like the bottom. I don't see like here. Highest ski resort in Colorado with 3,914 meters. Oh, well, this is in feet, so yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah, like, I guess if you're at like a ski resort at the top, but like, the moral of the story is I'm hiking high as shit. And like, just any normal town is not this freaking high. I'm not used to this. But like, it's not too bad. Like, I can breathe fine, but. You know. Also, shoes. Yeah. Just, just, yeah. Just absolutely, yeah. The shit I do for you guys, for these videos and pictures and shit, like, I'm fucking dedicated. Y'all should be thanking me in the comments for ruining my damn shoes for y'all. Time to walk all the way back down. This will be fun. Wait. Short intermission. Just because I know that I've had some people, like, tell me, like, Oh, when I'm walking around, I should be like a little map in like the top corner to like show like actually how like where I'm walking. Like, I don't know, some sort of map or something. Or just anything like that. Or like I'm currently editing this video and like I just realized that like they actually have no idea where I am or like where I'm actually at. Because you know, it's like what you're seeing is normally just like, you know, my clips and it's just like of my face. Or like they're very like zoomed in clips of me. Or like even when I show what's around me, it's like I only show like 
what's in front of it. I don't show like me and like, I kind of show like every side around, which is something I'm coming to realize for like future videos when I'm traveling in a place like this. Is I need to make sure that like I'm actually showing like what is fully all around me and like giving very like wide angle point of view. So you'll actually understand where I'm like actually at like um, geologically or like geographically or like, you know, so you like some sense of actually where I'm at or what I'm doing. Cause I think like only showing the little clips I show or, like these up close clips, you don't actually get like a full perspective where I'm at. So anyhow, you know, I was just thinking about that while I was just editing. I'm like, hmm, how can I like show them like more where I'm at? I was like, hmm, let me go Google Earth and I can maybe show them. So like if you look around, this is like the Swiss Alps. There is jungle fruit, or I just said it. Oh, well, it's not showing you some no more. But I just said jungle fruit. That's where we were the other day when we were at that top of Europe place. Um, that yeah, we we're like super high up. Zerma, as you can see, that's where we are going snowboarding, which you will see that in the next video. But that's where we are currently heading to and we leave from here and actually the only way to get oh, jungle fruit there the only way to actually get here is by train like you can't not literally get into this town back here by any other means just a little trivia effect like there's no car route or anything and you have to take a train like to get into Zermatt which is where the snowboarding is um anyhow yes yeah, so here's all the mountains whatever 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 anywho there's some lakes and stuff. But if we zoom back in. So this is currently where we are. This is Mir and this is the little town. Um, if we go to the right a little, see if it will give us the name. Boom, water brewing. Okay, this is where we were in the last video and we were like, down and there's that waterfall we saw like at the end of the last video and then like we went up here took like a tram or whatever or it really was to here but and then the video ended but anyway so this is a lot of brewing which is down like in the valley so when i got when i was saying like oh i'm like up on a hill and then even by while being up on hill still looking like at these mountains around it's still like the mountains are still high as shit that's what i meant it's because like we are up here currently so yes, yeah, so I can maybe take like a tram, I think like up here, and maybe take like a train or something. I thought you took like a train down here and then the, the tram up here. Anyway, it was like a tram. Uh, yeah, I think the tram is from Lauterbrunn up here and you take like a little train or something down the air. It's only like a couple minutes. It's not, it wasn't like a long thing. It was maybe like five or 10 minutes. Anyhow, um, zoom in a little bit more. So then like you come here and like this is where the video started like by this ice ring area then from here you walk 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 or i walked walked walk and honestly i, I kind of got confused like at first i thought it went up here but i don't think i did i didn't go this way i think from here we kept walking all the way over here because if well, well as you'll probably see in more clips or as you've already seen like when we were like i stopped at like a farm area and from that farm area it was like we were overlooking like mountains and there was like a valley in front of us. So like if I was up here, then like there's no valley in front of us. So it means I had to have kept walking here, here, here. Cause it was like a 40 minute little hike walk I went on. And I think we basically essentially walked all the way up to like, um, I think we walked somewhere up there. Or did we walk here? I think we walked like somewhere up here maybe. Maybe that's the farm. Or is this the farm? I think this maybe. No, because there wasn't two houses. But if you remember, it's like we were overlooking like a valley. Like it looked something like this. And we were overlooking like down here. And like you could see the mountains. Well, the mountains are here, which means I think, yeah, we were like somewhere either up here or maybe like here but this is just like where we walked from the little town i think all the way up to like somewhere here or here or maybe we walked even farther maybe we were like actually somewhere much farther down i do feel like i remember walking through this area this is where like you can see those little streams coming down so i think maybe we were like here or here somewhere yeah i think we were like over here guys maybe this 
somewhere in this area and then we walked all the way back but yeah just figured I would show you yeah I think we're here because that makes sense in terms of like what I was seeing it's like I remember like I've seen you like I walked down I was like wait I can't go down there because it's like goes off a cliff so and like but y'all could like we could see the mountains like the snowy mountains so yeah anyhow I think that's where we were just figured I would show y'all so y'all can have some understanding of like where I walked and where Murin actually sits it's like up on the mountain and then you can take like the hike I think to somewhere over here like I did or if you're gonna hear the Gimel one which is a little town that damn time to go to but yeah, I mean, I'm just figuring out what show y'all so you have some type of like just knowledge of like where I actually was, like like I said, geographically. Anyhow, yeah, okay, back to the video. Bro, truth be told, I think walking downhill actually might be worse than walking up there. It's like you keep having to like use all your leg muscles to like stop yourself, like boom, boom, to like stop yourself from freaking rumbling down the hill, like I mean, I don't know if it's worse, but it's equally as bad. Like, my feet are, like, slamming into the front of my shoes every step. Stupid! Right. This hike is not for the freaking weak. Even getting to the hike, like, this shit is a freaking work out. I'm like a young, athletic 22-year-old. So, if you're not like an avid hiker, or you're an elderly person, or anything of this, I mean, I have seen some, like, you know, older people, like, walking this, but, like, or if you're just out of shape, like, whatever. More of the story, do not think this is just some normal hike, bro. This shit is taxing, per se. Okay guys, mini update. We made it back down the hill like 30, 40, an hour later. But, I like, yeah, something like that. But, um, the next train, the next place I was supposed to go, doesn't leave for like 40 more minutes. I came to this little restaurant to get some pizza because I had seen pizza earlier and so I've been craving pizza all day. My hair is still a poofy mess because I never put anything in it. But yeah, we're here getting pizza to go because actually the train leaves in like 25 minutes. So hopefully this will be done in time. I can make it back to the train station in time. And it's two hours to the next place, which is only 15 minutes from where the last place for today is from my hotel. Also, this is supposed to be like a three day trip but I think it's turning into like a four day trip because like I'm getting rooms booked in like the wrong places and I'm taking too much time and like I thought my pass was for like two and a half days but it's actually for three days and then it ends at like five o'clock on the fourth day so as long as I can make it back to Lucerne by then which would be like Monday then we should be fine but yeah so I think Today I'm going to go to the next, in a second I'm going to go to the next place. See what it looks like, maybe take some pictures in the nighttime. Then go to the last place, check in my hotel, sleep there. Then in the morning, come back to the place that I'm about to go to, take some pictures when there's some sunlight. Then, go to the snowboarding place, snowboard all day, stay in that area. So then, and then Sunday, go to the next place, and then to the next place. And that place, I want to like walk around and hike a lot. So then maybe stay the night there, Sunday night. Then Monday, go to the next place and back. And do it all by five o'clock. I think that's the plans right now. I don't know. I'm about to wait for my pizza, but yes, my feet hurt, and we made it down. And it's two hours to the next place. Actually, guys, I think there's a new change of plan. I think I just go straight to the place where my hotel is at. Like, if you can see, like, it is 
white, literally pitch black. So I just don't know that like I'm gonna be able to see anything. Like the main thing to go see here is like a lake and like the blue water and the trees and all that, but you're not gonna see any of that here. So yeah, I may just go straight to the hotel, chill, see what's there, and then yeah, go back to the place in the morning, then go to the snowboarder. Guys, I asked for pepperoni on my pizza, and I think somehow they translated pepperoni to peppers. Because there's no pepperoni, and there is peppers. I think it was supposed to come with the ham, but not all those peppers. But whatever, I'm hungry, so Also, look at my shoes, guys. My shoes are F. Fine, but like the inside, how about this? No, this one's not good too. My shoes are F, then you just somehow clean them. But the pizza was good. Was it worth $19? No, but was it good? Sure. Well, guys, um, update. The update is, you probably, you haven't seen anything in a little bit because my camera batteries died, but last night I get on the train to come here, my phone dies, um, the phone dies, and, yes, why I'm on the train, but I'm able to, like, put it on the charger, and it turns back on as soon as I have to get on the train, so I have, like, boom, one, two percent, whatever it turned on on. And this was like a, an hour and a half away from where I am right now that I get off the train. Because you're supposed to be able to take like a bus closer to here, but there was no buses running anymore because it was so late. Like I literally was catching all the last trains to the places. Um, so I'm like, okay, what am I going to do? So I'm like, I'm just going to have to walk. So then I begin walking to where I am now. It was like an hour and ten minutes. This is like at nine, nine o'clock at night. It was dark as shit. There was no lights on any of these streets because like if you can't tell... I'm currently, like, staying in some random valley, like, this is just some little, you know, random towns, like, there's not street lights and things, and even where I was, there was none. So, moral of the story is that, hold up, is that, yeah, so boom, I begin walking, but then, like, as I'm walking, some random guy essentially sees me, and he's like, do you want to ride? And he's like, where are you going? This is, I was like, I'm going, like, up the hill, wherever, whatever, whatever. So anyway, I ended up getting some ride from some random guy. So shout out to the guy who gave me a ride that works in Boston, stays here, told me where to go. Doubt you'll ever see this, but shout out to you for the ride because I was about to have to walk an hour and a half. So he gives me a ride like five minutes away and then I walked the final five minutes here. Um, so yeah, that's how we got here. And why you haven't seen anything is because the camera's been dead. Uh, what else? I was supposed to go to one other spot yesterday. But didn't have time to go there, and I'm supposed to go. To, was supposed to go to the spot today, like this morning. 
But again, like I said, I wasn't going to take a bath, but like in the last clip, but guess what? I ended up taking a bath. Um, just because it was, I don't know, it just looked like such a relaxing experience. Bro, like the way the mountains, well, I'll show you in a second, you've probably seen. But, uh, yeah, so now it's like, um, 10.30 or something like that. And I want to be at the snowboarding place at noon. And it's like two and a half hours away already. So, I'm basically already late. So, we're just going straight to snowboarding. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to see. That's what y'all probably want to see. Is someone who's ever never snowboarded attempt to snowboard by himself. Like, no help, no nothing. Um, so, yeah, we're going snowboarding. But that will probably be in a separate video. So, you probably won't see it in here. This will probably just, like, cut to what happens after the snowboarding. But, yeah, we're about to go snowboarding. And then maybe I'll have time later to go to the other two places. Or maybe tomorrow. Because, like, there's still, like, you know, a whole two days worth of other places I'm supposed to be going. So maybe somehow I'll be able to squeeze everything in. But, again, it's like the snowboard to, like, this area where the other two places are is kind of, like, two hours away. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, also, there's nothing in this damn cup. If you thought I liked coffee, absolutely not. Coffee's disgusting. Uh... And yeah, so I guess I'm gonna go take the bus and train and everything to get to the snowboard area. See you when I'm in the area, maybe. Or maybe you won't see it because you'll just see whatever happens after. I don't know. Gotta go. Gotta blast. Oh yeah, I forgot so I was gonna show you the mountains. Like, bro, this is so just... Like, look how low the clouds are. You can't see none of the tips of the mountains because they're all just hidden in clouds so pretty like all of them are just hidden in clouds also it is much colder today so maybe i did not pick the right day to go snowboarding but whatever but yeah somehow it doesn't look i don't know like mystical Guys, this is so, oh, that gets so dark. This, guys, this is so, like, surreal, almost, in a way. Oh, my. Hmm. That's lovely. Anyhow, guys, this is so, like, surreal, in a way. It's like, uh, like, I don't know, like, look. It's like I'm literally just like walking like in some valley surrounded by mountains it's like and all these like wooden traditional homes like you don't see this in the USA anywhere like maybe Colorado I don't know I haven't really explored Colorado but it's like homes like this and the mystical mountains like this and I keep saying everything I see is pretty but it's like Things won't affect that it's just so different that to me it's so like just I don't know, it's just so cool. Like obviously for them, like they're probably used to like what? Like what? I think I'm dumb, but I just feel like I'm in oh shit. I feel like I'm in some folklore story or some fucking fairy tale, like I don't know. Like the homes you would see in like yeah, like, I don't know, times like that. I don't know, it's just... Like, it's just... Like I'm really just taking it in right now, what I'm actually doing and where I'm actually at. Crazy times. Guys, these prices are killing me, Smalls. Like, what? 11, 12, 18, 18, 20. There's, like, these big-ass burritos. That... Like these big burritos I keep seeing people get, 
but I don't know what's on them. I can't tell what's on them. I asked both the people that work if they speak English, and they both said no. I like, shook their head no. It's like, I can't even ask what's on it. I don't want to order something not knowing on it and, when, you know, not like it. So I spent $18 on chicken nuggets and french fries. When there's massive burritos for only $11. But I just didn't know what's on it. And I don't got money to waste. Even though I guess $18 for chicken nuggets and french fries is wasting food. But I'm hungry. And the train ride's gonna take like two hours between everything, so. I'm gonna need this bump to stop bumping. Anywho, bro. Ugh, Switzerland is so annoying, bro. Nobody knows English. Nothing is in English. Like, I didn't get the food because apparently it's cash only. And like, he points at the sign afterwards. I'm like, bro, I can't read your freaking sign. It's in German. I don't, I don't, I didn't see the cash only. And then he's trying to tell me there's an ATM, but I'm like, uh, bank comes, or train comes in, what, like, uh, five minutes. I don't have time to run all the way to the ATM and then come back and pay for this food. So I basically, like, had them make me food. And I was like, I, I, I gotta go. Like, I don't know what you want from me. So I'm like, sorry, bye. But it's so annoying. And like, I just can't communicate. And like, somebody please teach me German or get me out of freaking Switzerland. Like, uh, yes. I mean, I do leave in, like, next week to go somewhere else, which hopefully... Again, English isn't the next place's primary language, but hopefully there's more stuff in English where I can at least understand them. But I, I don't know German at all, and I cannot read German at all. So yeah, I just, just didn't get my food, but hopefully I'll get food somewhere else. But I just haven't made any food for absolutely nothing. Because the train's coming. And it's cash only. Just lovely. I hate my life. I know my man's toes is purple with the way his jeans are squeezing his shit. Them jeans is hugging his toes blue as shit. So, like, I'm just looking at the little girl over here. How do we grow from that little thing to like whole people? Like, she's so tiny. Like, if your legs are only this big, where does the extra bone come from to make you so big? Like, how does this turn into this? I have actually zero idea. Like, where does the extra bone and stuff come from? I'm confused. Yo, look how big this dog is. I don't even know if you can tell. Is this, bro, they got some big ass dogs in Switzerland. Hello. Um, so I had like a ski equipment rental here and I accidentally booked it for yesterday instead of today. Can I still use it? For today? Yeah. Normally it's for tomorrow or what? No, it was for yesterday. Oh, so yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can still use it, man. But to be honest, I, it makes not that much sense to go up now. Are you here tomorrow as well? Um, kind of, yeah. Yeah, because, you know, they close at uh, 3. three Thirty, right? Or when did it close? Ah, the last one, the very last one on Sunica side is like four twenty, but you won't get any runs from that now. Uh -huh. You know, you're yeah. really late, man. It's to really be late. honest, I can give you the stuff, but and we only charge for full days. That's the thing. I have a bit sold. I have a bit of yeah, of course, man. Like we can push you for tomorrow, so you can you can pick it up now or like in a half an hour, and then you can use it from tomorrow morning on till four in the afternoon. Uh, what time do like does it open? Eight. So it's open from eight to like four. Yeah, so eight thirty. Eight thirty. Eight thirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. First gondola is like eight thirty. Okay. I no, guess. I'll yeah, for today it makes no sense. Okay. Okay, I guess I'll come back tomorrow. 
And if you don't come, make sure you can get a refund on the website. Yeah. Okay. Usually you can get one. Yeah. And y'all will be open by 8 tomorrow as Every well? Every day, 8 to 7, straight for Okay, thanks. Well, guys, not only was I too damn late to do the snowboarding, I also just missed the damn train out of this place by like a matter of freaking 15 seconds. Like, I'm pushing the thing, and then like a second later, they start going. Uh, the next train's not for another hour. So now I don't know what we're gonna do. I don't know that we're gonna get to see everything I wanted to see. I, uh, yeah, I don't know what the plans are anymore. Because I just, like, by the time I get over there now, it will be dark, so it's like... Uh, I really just hate life. I actually just missed the damn drink. It's so, uh, so annoying. It's actually so annoying. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to sit here and eat this little chicken thing I bought. And, yeah. I don't know what the next clip you'll see is. Maybe I'll end up going. Maybe I won't. I don't really think there's much of a point. But who knows. Um. Yeah. And also, on top of that, like, I don't know when the last train that comes back this way is like by the time I get there like it may just be pointless so yeah I don't know what I'm doing I mean, whatever the next clip you'll see is whatever the next clip you'll see well guys I fucked it it's just fucked it's 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 utterly completely fucked though like I don't really have any options it's either we don't see the places or we're just gonna have to see them basically in the damn dark which kind of defeats the purpose, because they won't look as pretty. I want to take as good pictures, but you know, if you want to see them, uh, this is the only way to see them. So I'm about to go to the Ocean Chasse. There's two places, like Ocean Chasse and Blouse. I think Ocean Chasse looks maybe like it could be better. So with whatever daylight is left by the time I get there, I guess we're gonna go there first and pray there's some light and it's not just pitch dark. It'll be like around sunset, but it's like right after sunset, so like it won't look pretty either. But yeah, so I guess we're gonna go there, pray, then we go to the other place. Cause again, it's like it's do that or do nothing. Like we just won't see them at all. Unfortunate, I fucked it, but what can I do? I'm on time for nothing. It is my worst trait. Nonetheless. Everyone cross their fingers that there's still some damn daylight so we can see something. And I'm not about to drive two hours back for nothing. Because I just have two hours here for nothing. Or like took the train ride two hours for nothing. Cross our fingers. Guys, this is just a series of the biggest L's ever. I get to the place to go snowboarding late to the point where they're like um there's no point doing it today it took two hours to get there then i take two hours coming back to this lake just to find out that the only way to get to the lake is from a gondola and the last gondola was at five o'clock and it's currently six o'clock so now i just went two hours there for nothing just to do nothing then came two hours back again just to do nothing and at this point, it's also getting, like, it's basically dark as well. Like, there's one more place that I could go to that I could see, but it's, like, it's another lake. And, again, it's just going to be dark. So it's, like, is there much of a point in even going to the lake? And my hotel is now two hours where I was earlier. So I will have rode a train for damn near six hours today to do absolutely nothing. And mind you, I paid seventy dollars to like have a day train pass today for jack shit. Just wasted seventy fucking dollars, bro. <sighs> yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. It's dark now. It's it's 
So yeah, I guess we're just not going to see either of these two places. I don't really know what else there is to do. <sighs> because tomorrow we are going snowboarding. By the time that gets done, it'll probably be doing that all day. Till like 4 o'clock. Then wherever I go after that, by the time I get there, it's going to be dark. There's one place that I'm going to go do after that. That like It's not really a lake. It's more like I think you can just see cool mountains or something. Or something of that nature. So it's like the light is necessarily not as much of an effect. And it's only like an hour away. So I should get there like 5 while there's still some some sunlight. But then these other two places. Like Then the next place I have to go from there is 4 hours away. So you can see the problem. And it's like four hours in the a different direction. So moral of the story is, I think we just insert a picture of what we are going to see because it's just not going to get seen. Like, I don't. Uh, I hate my life. Like, I actually just, <laughs> it's so annoying. I spent $70 and have done jack shit today. It's just a complete waste of everything. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Like, I don't even, like, what did I do wrong today? That's what I want to know. Oh, and Google Maps hates me as well. Oh, and Google hates me. Can I just... Oh, my... I'm about to rage. No, I'm about to rage. Um, about the age. Okay, this is what one of the legs looked like. Again, this is like in the summer, so it probably looks... <gasps> what is my phone doing? Boom. That was what one of the legs was going to look like. But the trees would probably looked worse. Mm-hmm. And then... This is what the other place was going to look like. Again, this is like more in the summer. Um, why do all these pictures suck? I have seen some 10 times better photos. Well, these photos all suck, but I don't know. So yeah, I guess just imagine we went to both those places, because now I guess, unless some magical extra time gets invented, we're not going to see them. And I don't feel like going to the other place right now, just like the one place I just showed you, imagine that, but pitch black, what's the point? You, what you just seen in that picture is better than what I'll probably see right now. So yeah, I guess I'm just waiting for another train to go two hours back where I just came from, for the third time. Actually, guys, here, look, they have a billboard outside. This is what the lake looks like. And just imagine we saw it. So beautiful. Fuck my life. Guys, please look at this freaking hotel. You walk up like four flights of creepy stairs into this room and then like all the beds are like little cut out hubby things there's this one over there one up here they're just like little little holes that you basically lay in what the heck there's even more like in the hallway. There's one there and like all the way down. 